There's a uh, demand for more broccoli to be grown on the East Coast, especially the Southeast. Currently about 90% of the broccoli is grown in California. Based on transportation costs and uh, the cost of leasing land there, the, the water shortages in California, the concept is if we can create an industry here on the East Coast, then we can avoid a lot of those issues. We can actually bring uh, opportunities to South Carolina growers that we didn't have before. But we're looking at uh, uh, growing varieties from Florida to Maine at different times of the year. So that way we can supply the entire window of demand for broccoli through the entire year. And it's much more difficult to control weeds in uh, South Carolina broccoli versus California broccoli. So we're looking at different management practices for controlling weeds in, in broccoli grown in South Carolina. We're looking at some novel herbicides, a combination of herbicide by cultivation practices, and we're, we're using uh, two more eastern uh, type broccoli varieties. And we're looking at to see exactly at this one location for this area, which one produces the best quality phytonutrition flavor that is a big component of it. The idea is if these new lines are being more productive, then that grower will be able to adopt that variety. So it's an entire group of scientists all up and down the East Coast that are working to create an entire industry. It's a multi-collaborative effort. It's beneficial from an environmental standpoint since we're not, we're not gonna um, ship broccoli across the, you know, across the country if we can get established in the East Coast broccoli industry. So it's a, it's a combination of demand from a few growers, um, interest by the broccoli breeders in the southeast and then I think consumers would benefit greatly from it. But if you're cutting it today and it's in the stores tomorrow then you've uh, reduced the, the carbon footprint, the cost of the transportation, increased essentially the nutrition of the crop because it's available right then and there. Here at CREC that's one of the things that we really like to do is like work for our growers in this state. If a grower right now just grows peppers right and then either cover crops or takes the season off in the fall Typically, if you can utilize that soil year-round, okay, that opens up markets for growers to make more money, to be more profitable, to expand, and that's what, that's what we're here for. I mean, we're here to help growers make more money and be more productive. <laughs>